Most people have plastic surgery to become better versions of themselves. Today, however, one man has had plastic surgery to become a better version of someone else. Namely, famed television pundit Stephen Colbert. After a long and clinically unhealthy period of obsession with Stephen's fantasy namesake photo challenge, average college student Ellie Shane has decided that the best thing to name after Stephen would be himself. And he's gone about it in a brilliantly unorthodox way. We spoke with Ellie to find out a little bit more. I've just been like thinking about a whole lot of different things I could name after Stephen Colbert. Like I had Stephen Colbert slaw, the coleslaw, Stephen Colmare, the horse, Stever Cole Beaver, the beaver. I'd finally decided that it should probably just be myself. I think I, I probably know Stephen Colbert better than he even knows himself. I watched his show a dozen times. I've spent many hours Wikipediaing him. I've come up with a two-step plan. The first step involves me getting plastic surgery, and the second part in which I'm gonna get my name changed to Stephen Colbert underscore one, because for anyone who's ever used a computer before, you know that it, if you add an underscore one at the end of any file name, it immediately invalidates anything previous to it. Sources tell us that just three days ago, he checked himself into the plastic surgery unit at Methodist Hospital, wearing nothing but a picture of Stephen Colbert around his midsection and a dream around his heart. After a grueling 17-hour surgery, it appears that he's come out triumphant. His doctors have assured him that his face, which now closely resembles pulverized ground beef, will in a short matter of three to four weeks look precisely like that of Stephen Colbert. I went to Methodist Hospital to speak with Raphael Pristoup, plastic surgery expert and contributing editor to the Annals of Internal Medicine. We used to use mainly scalpels and instruments to alter the shape of the face. Now we use a series of treatments to modify the molecular structure of the tissues. Kind of like a microwave. First, treat the face with a concoction of chemicals which transform the face into a gelatinous substance resembling ground beef. Then we mold the substance into a structure resembling the new model subject, in this case, Stephen Colbert. Tell me more about the molding process. Well, we use some very advanced instruments, namely my hands covered with the patient's flesh. It's just like making meatballs, only the meatballs look like Stephen Colbert. Can the world handle more than one Stephen Colbert? We might not have to wait too long to find out. This innovative procedure, aptly dubbed Colbertification, is already seeing a huge wave of early adopters. Take this woman, for example. She had originally requested the procedure, but her insurance could only afford to have her surgically altered into a talking banana. But nobody could sum it up better than the man who started this bizarre trend, Ellie Shane. And the only way that Stephen Colbert will be able to outdo me is by changing his name to Stephen Colbert underscore two, and that sounds stupid. This is Giga Shane reporting from Park Slope, Brooklyn.